the two broad things that any leader in an organization does is one, they make decisions. And the second thing that a leader does is they get people to move in the direction of that decision. If you're a bad leader, all you do is you make the decision and you tell everybody what to do, command and control mentality. Uh, I say jump, you say how high. That's kind of the approach that a lot of bad leaders take. Good leaders, on the other hand, not only do they help make the decisions, but they also motivate, engage, empower, and inspire people to move in the direction of that decision. So if you're a bad leader who purely just focuses on command and control and making decisions, we're starting to see that technology is going to help augment a lot of that decision-making process anyway. So if that's all that you do as a leader, then what value do you have to the company? Probably not much. But if, on the other hand, you focus on the human aspects of leadership, then I really believe that your value to the organization increases tenfold. So that, I think, is going to be the greatest impact that we're going to see of technology, of things like AI when it comes to leadership, is focusing on who are the good leaders and who are the leaders who we should not be having inside of our company.